Tesla drivers have been able to customize their horn sounds and the possibilities are apparently endless. Take a look. This is from uh, Monty Python. What? Coconuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could do that. Well, I never. <laughs> I guess uh, there's a reason Elon Musk is worth $100 billion. It's because of this. Yeah. Stuff like this. <laughs> I guess, so they say, yeah, that owners can actually record a custom sound that can be anything they want. Only Tesla cars with the optional pedestrian oh. speaker feature can actually do this. So in order to make the feature less intrusive mm, for other drivers, extra. the car has to be parked. You don't, no, you don't actually have to pay extra. It just has to be parked for it to work. Otherwise, you just get the standard horn. Oh. So I think that's like a legal thing. Yeah. <laughs> Got to have the standard horn on the roadway. But if you're yeah. parked, all bets are off. So what would your horn sound be? I would go with that cucaracha music at the beginning. As that in, was good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. He did a little dance. Yeah. The club sound. That was good. Yeah. What? <laughs> I would go with that guy from New Jersey that was letting off the cannon sound. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's like quiet. She's like, no comment. <laughs> I make it too! <laughs> right, we're at number six, Lauren. Okay, number six. <laughs> a strange centuries old Christmas ritual is making a comeback in part of Canada. Mummering has its roots in Europe where people would dress up and perform Christmas time plays, but oh. in the northeast part of Canada, Mummering has usually meant people wearing a costume that disguises their identity. They then go from house to house, visiting their neighbors and seeing if they can guess who they are. These Ooh. are terrifying. After the tradition started to become rowdy and sometimes dangerous, authorities cracked down. The government even ended up banning the practice altogether until the 90s. In the past decade, mummering has started returning to the area. Now, each year, hundreds of people dress up and march in the parade. Weird. Mm -mm. Number five, floppy disks hmm. are now a thing of the past, but one man is still <laughs> using them. In fact, he managed to put the entire Shrek movie on one. Oh, wow. A username, Greedy Paint. Posted this Greedy video on Reddit. He managed to build oh, a player really a fl for no, the floppy disk. I thought we were talking disc. about the, really, the old like, yeah, school no, floppy disks. Uh, these are like... Right, he fit the whole movie on a floppy disk here. Small enough just to fit on it. The movie uh, with audio plays in full, but obviously... Not the I think it looks like excellent quality. Quality. Look at those floppy disks, though, man. What are we even watching? You can't see anything. It's Mark. clearly Shrek, Sarah. Hey, Mark, do you remember having floppy disks? Did you ever <laughs> use those? Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, yeah, we did it in elementary school. Okay. <laughs> there you go. On the Apple just, II GS. I'm not trying to age you or anything, but I mean, I just, Apple II How GS. How about the old 8 track, Morg? Have you used the 8 track? <laughs> My baby, we used to have to die <laughs> with a rotary phone. Oh. With our Joe Cola.